So when we were telling the robot to move in X, Y, or Z increments, it was basically moving based on wherever it, the robot was before, right? Um, in small increments. Uh, that type of motion is called relative motion because it depends on where the robot was before you type the action, right? However, the robot can also work in absolute motion, which means no matter what it is, I can tell the robot that I want it to go to whatever X, Y, Z coordinate in space based on the coordinate system of the robot, right? So if zero, 0, is right there, this robot here right now is somewhere like 600 millimeters in the X direction, probably zero in the Y direction, because it's very aligned with the base, and in Z, it's probably something like 400, right? So if I want the robot to tell it to move to a particular location, regardless of where it is right now, I can use, instead of move, I can use the move to action, right? So I can say, well, I want you, in this case, I want you to move to, I can open parentheses, coordinates, for example, I'm going to move it somewhere here. That is going to be coordinates 400x is going to be negative in y, so for example, minus 200, and I'm going to lower it down also quite a lot. So for example, 250 in z. If I do that and I type enter, then the robot immediately starts going to this x, y, z coordinate in the robot's base coordinate system, no matter where it was before, all right? And I can switch back to relative anytime. I can now type move x, 0, 0, and 300 in z to make the robot move up. And as soon as it finishes executing the absolute motion, it will start going up like right now, all right? Most, you have noticed the different behavior between move as a relative action and move to as an absolute action, all right? Most machina actions have the two flavors. The absolute flavor in which no matter what the robot was, you just set the values, the target values that you want the robot to reach, and the relative value, which is it depending on where the robot is, change that in relative increments, right? And the difference between those actions is going to be always the word with the two suffix for absolute motion. If it doesn't have two as a suffix, then it's going to be a relative action.